What's up, YouTube? It's Nishi here, and today I'm with... I'm in 3 Gasso. Yeah. How are you doing, step bro? No. <laughs> I'm doing great. But, so, my stepbrother's actually in the Navy as well, and he's a nuke. So, I was going to interview him, um, and we'll be talking about different nukes and just general stuff about it. So, um, what is your rate, exactly? So I'm a machinist made nuclear, that's MMN, that's that part. Okay. Uh, there's three other rates that you could be as a nuke. It's uh, ETN and EMN, so mm -hmm. electronics technician, and I don't remember what the ET is, but something. Something, like maybe it's the ETN something. Yeah. Something like that. But ETs, MMs, and then EMs. Um, okay, so what does your job entail? So, it's really just a lot of log taking. It's like, you think you're going to be doing a lot, but it's majority you're just taking logs, you're roving your spaces, as a mechanic at least. You rove your spaces and take logs, it's, as far as I've seen it. Mm -hmm. um, what is the duration of your schooling? Because everyone's like, oh yeah, you're going to be there forever. Yeah, so, uh, my school was a year and a half, just because, uh, well, as a mechanic, you only have a three-month A school, then you have a six-month power school, a six-month prototype. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so that ended up taking about a year and a half with the time in between, whatever, just in your, while you're in hold. Holding, yeah. Um, so, the other nukes, what is, do you know how long their A school is? Because I know you don't know too much about it. Yeah, so the uh, EMs and ETs, they have a six-month A school instead of a three-month A school. Okay. So that brings their thing, especially with the hold, up to about two years. About two years? Okay. Um, how did you select your nuke, or your nuke rating, or sub-rate of nuke? So we don't actually get to select that. It's more like uh, you get a wish list, mm -hmm. and you put down all of your the rates that you want in order of what you want, mm -hmm. and they give you whatever they need, needs of the Navy. Okay. I'm just saying, I did put mechanic as my last choice. As your last choice? Okay. <laughs> I am happy with it, though. That's good. Um, uh, what is your advice on people wanting to join your rate as a nuke? It's not too bad. I mean, a lot of people, they'll say a lot of bad things about it. Mm -hmm. It's it's a tough school. It is. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't get a lot of time off. You're mm -hmm. the first one's on the ship, last one's to leave. You got to stay extra a lot of the time. You have a lot of downsides, but you also get higher pay, you have, you accumulate a lot of leave because you don't get to use it. You can't leave, you can't leave. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bonuses are great too, mm -hmm. but really like for me it's the, the whole actual, uh, the qualifications that you gather from, all the schooling, it gets you college credits. Mm -hmm. I'm not really too sure how many I have as of the moment, but you do get a lot. Okay. Um, what was it? Oh, I'm having a brain fart, oh my goodness. How did you start your enlistment process? Like, you, do nukes join as like an E3 per se, or like, as, just in case if anybody doesn't know anything, this is just to go over it. So you mean like, as in? As when you're just joining joining the Navy and like signing everything, like. Okay, so uh, when I went to my recruiter, I went to him knowing that I wanted to be a nuke. <laughs> so he already had all the paperwork signed up and everything. He told me I was gonna start off as an E3 and yeah, you go up, you go throughout boot camp as you're technically still an E1, but you're getting paid as an E3. Mm -hmm. So you get more money in boot camp, and then when you get out, you actually put on E3. So you get to mm -hmm. put the uh, the three stripes on. Yeah, the three stripes. Um, when did you pick up E4? Because that's automatic as of for now, at least. Yeah. So uh, as nukes, you automatically pick up E4 as soon as you're done with uh, your A school. Okay. So right at graduation, we had a little. Uh, I guess frocking ceremony in our classroom, but it's pretty cool. Okay, um, and you said that there's some general education classes that you took during your uh, A school, correct? Not necessarily A school. As in like just things that all the rates have Yeah, to all do. the rates have to do, all nuke specific have to do. Yeah, so it's like, uh, well, you learn about your basic like math, math courses, mm -hmm. physics, stuff like that, but each rate they specify it into like their own stuff so mm -hmm. uh, as mechanics you learn more about 
valves and different tools in A-School, uh, you also learn more as to like, actual operations of what you do. As ETs and EMs, you learn, I don't know, EMs would probably learn more about electricity than us because mm. we don't need to know that. Mm. Um, are there anything you should avoid while being a nuke? Or at least an A school or anything in general? Just don't get caught doing stupid things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, do you have any funny stories? For at least one funny story, at least for now? Uh, it's not necessarily a funny story, but the first thing that comes to mind is a really messed up thing that happened. <laughs> Okay. So one of my buddies, he had a uh, seizure in A school, and um, okay. he got a paper saying that he was denuked. Or not denuked. He said he was de uh, disqualified from sub duty. So they he wasn't sub called anymore. They let him go through the whole school, and then finally, mm -hmm. right before his final board, during uh, right like a couple days before his final board and prototype, they told him, "Hey, you weren't actually just sub disqualified. You were actually nuke disqualified." So he was disqualified for being a nuke all the way in A school and he went through the entire pipeline not knowing that he, he got yeah he got denuked wow. at the very end okay then he had to pay back his bonus and all that too so really back him. that's that sucks yeah so as a nuke um you're treated differently uh, compared to other people during A school correct in the sense kind of um what was the living arrangements that you had during A school and all that or nuke school so during our A school and power school, they're at the same command. We had uh, barracks that we were assigned. You'd live on base, you'd wake up in the morning, walk to the, the Rickover, which was the place that we studied. You walk there, walk back at the end of the day. That was, that was your, your trip. You did that for both the A school, then the six month power school, which was for everyone. And uh, when you graduated from power school, you went to prototype and prototype was a separate command altogether where they didn't have barracks for us, so they gave us uh, BAH to allow us to live off base. Okay. So me and a couple roommates, we got our own house. We rented a four bedroom, and we're just living off base. It was, it was nice. Yeah. It's the thing that everyone looks forward to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, 